what is the easiest way to create 30 pieces of content in just 24 hours? Well, the easiest way is to do as little as possible. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today with the help of AI. At this point, we've almost all interacted with AI in some form, whether using it to create content or just consuming AI-based content. But what this means is that the bar for content has just been risen. But if we can utilize some AI tools in order to assist our content creation process, we can not only be successful in our business, but we can also start to use these tools in order to create pieces of work that before we wouldn't be capable of. Now, a few weeks ago, I showed you guys a new program called InVideo, and it's a fantastic online editor. However, they have recently added a slew of new AI tools into the program that's gonna help make content creation so much easier, but more importantly, it's gonna allow us to create a lot of content really fast. So what's one of the major hurdles that we have to all cross when it comes to creating content in bulk, but also using AI tools? Well, one of the biggest hurdles is the fact that there are so many AI tools and they seem to sort of be spread all over the place. You have programs like ChatGPT, which is a fantastic resource for writing, coming up with ideas, even scripting out videos. However, that lives on a platform that is not visual based. There's no photos, there's no video. So this means that if you wanna use that with your video editing or your content creation process, Says, you are going to have to then basically take that information and bring it over into a new program. But that's not the case anymore. Also, let's say you wanna use a program that allows you to do AI voiceovers. Well, there are tons of AI tools in order to pull that off as well. But again, you also have to go to another platform to do that. But NVIDIA has sort of fixed a lot of this. See, what NVIDIA has done now is they've taken all of these different AI tools, including ChatGPT, and they have integrated it into their own video editor, making it a fantastic destination to be able to utilize AI through your content creation process. So now it comes down to how are we gonna execute these 30 Instagram Reels in a single day? Well, we're gonna hop into NVIDIA, I'm gonna open up a new project, and I'm gonna show you just how quickly you can create content while utilizing these tools, because honestly, there's really a high chance that you'll actually be able to make more than 30 pieces of content in a single day, especially with a lot of these tools that we're about to break down. Now, to get started, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this big blue button in the top right corner called Create New. And when we get that drop down, you'll see there's a lot of different options here. However, we are primarily gonna be focusing on using the AI text to video. This is gonna actually help us to start the script writing process because as I mentioned, ChatGPT is now integrated into NVIDIA's app. So we're gonna go on AI to video, and then you'll see that there are quite a few templates here for you to choose from. So you can just kind of pick whichever one that you personally like, but the thing to keep in mind is that even if you don't love one of these, you can change pretty much every like factor of it later on in the editor. So I'm gonna just click on this one here. This is kind of like a nice fitness looking one. Uh, and I'm gonna choose portrait as a nine by 16, as we talked about earlier. So that way it works out better for Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts. Once you choose use template, now it brings us over into our scripter. Now this is where ChatGPT's integration actually begins. So you'll notice that right here, you can actually just write out a script. So if you've already written something, you can just copy, paste it, put it in. And the nice thing about using these templates is it's going to actually analyze your script and then help you to find clips online that go with what you're already talking about. Hence the AI text to video. However, I don't have a script yet. So I'm gonna click up here where it says, ask AI to write your script. So once you click on that little box, you'll notice that you get a nice little generator section where now you can just sort of type in what you're hoping your video to look like. So what are you waiting for? I don't know, something amazing, I guess. The one thing I've learned about AI is that the more information you give it, the better results you will get. So if you're super generic or you just say, write me a script about basketball, you could almost get anything. However, the more details you give the AI, such as if you tell it to write a certain type of script about a certain player or about a certain time frame, put it in a specific tone, add jokes, no jokes, be serious, be lighthearted, all those different elements are gonna help you to get better results because the more the AI knows what you're looking for, the better 
better results it can give you. So once you type in what you're looking for, you're just gonna click on where it says generate, and then right after that, you give it a few seconds, and you will see that the AI tool actually generates an entire script for you. Now, the nice thing here is that if you don't like what it has generated, you can absolutely either go in and start manually adjusting the script by typing in what you want it to say, or you can go back up to the top, write in a brand new prompt, and then it'll spit out a whole nother version for you. Now, just because we're writing this script, just as a heads up, when we do this, it will create the scenes based off of these gaps that you see. And so you'll notice that when you're looking at the script, that there are spaces in between different sections, and those different sections will be given different areas within the video. One other little bonus tip is down at the bottom, you'll notice that there is an option to either click for you want free stock images in video, or do you want to use the iStock or premium ones? Now, this is all going to be based off of the plan that you have, but I personally typically recommend if you are paying for the higher end tier that you actually go ahead and unclick free and click on iStock and premium because these are going to give you better videos and photos overall. From there, we'll just click on create scene and we'll just wait for our scenes to populate on screen. Now, while it's doing this, it's important to understand that we literally have just clicked on a template. We use AI in order to generate our script. And now the NVIDIA tool is actually going to go and find the B-roll footage that we need for our clips. And it is doing all of this for us, which is why I say it's so easy to create so much content in a short period of time, because we're literally letting the AI do most of the heavy lifting. So now that it's done generating our video, now we can actually utilize another AI tool in order to make this video even more engaging. As we all know, when it comes to social media, there are lots of different ways that people choose to consume. Sometimes they're reading the video while their phone is on mute, and other times they actually want to hear what the video has to say. Even better. And for some of us, speaking on camera or doing a voiceover might seem a little overwhelming. Well, this is where we can actually utilize another AI tool with an AI voiceover. NVIDIA has a built-in AI voiceover program in the editor itself. And the nice thing is that it can actually take the AI generated script and literally read that. However, they have recently updated it. So where in the past, maybe you've heard some AI voices where they don't really sound super good, like they sound very robotic. They now have an updated version of their AI voiceover that sounds more realistic. So down at the bottom, you'll notice now you have a little button for voiceover. And once you tap on that, it'll literally take the actual screen that you had and create an AI voiceover based off of the text that you have on screen. So I'm gonna click on automate text to speech. And then on the left hand side is when we're gonna actually start to see where that automated text is going to come from. So as you can see, the script was already brought over so that voiceover is there. And now I can just choose what type, which as you can see, there was the legacy version and now there's the more realistic version, which is the one I obviously recommend using. You can choose the language that you want the voiceover to be done in, which is really cool because most voiceover AI tools don't have this many language options. And then you can actually cycle through a few different voices and as you can see they are named here however they go one step further and you can kind of pick on like Brooklyn and you can hit the little play button next to the name and actually hear a sample of what that voice actually sounds like. So once you have the actual voice that you want and you've selected it, all you have to do is click on generate voiceover. It'll then take that script that was written by AI. It'll generate a voiceover using it. And then you can actually play that back and listen to what it sounds like. Then all you have to do is click the little box that says add automated voiceovers for all scenes. And what it will do is take that AI voice, the sound that you prefer, and then it will apply it across your entire edit. Now we just sit back again and we just wait for this to do pretty much all the work for us. And before you know it, we have a video that has been scripted by AI. It found the video clips for us using AI. And then we also use AI in order to do the voiceover. The best part about this is Honestly, the hardest part is just sitting here and waiting for the AI to do its job, but this means we can create a lot of content in a very short period of time. Now, I would be remiss if I just told you guys to just take that information and just run with it. But the truth is, is that when content is almost 100% created on AI, you can really tell. And so there are a few extra little bonus tips that you really should be utilizing in order to help make your content stand out so it doesn't just look like robot-made content. 
So along the entire left side column of this editor, you'll notice that there are so many different things that we can add into our video. For example, we can add images, go into music and actually add background music, which the nice part is that in video has a bunch of stock music in the actual app itself. So it makes it easy to find music that will work across all the different platforms. Uh, but you can also add other elements such as text graphics. Now, as I showed you, you can have this pre-generated text from your script show up on screen. However, if you don't want that to actually be on screen, you don't have to keep it on there. If you create your video in the order that I just walked you through, where you generate your video text via the script, and then you turn that into a voiceover, once the voiceover information is a part of the edit, the text doesn't have to stay on screen, which means now you can add other engaging elements onto your video and still keep the engagement high so it doesn't feel super generic. Now, as important as we know music is, obviously when it comes to working on platforms such as Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts, the visuals are gonna be even more important. And so as I showed you, yes, the AI tools can go through and find clips and add it to the video. However, I personally like to put my own touch on these extra clips. And so what you can do is you can go up here to where it says video, and this will allow you to search through all of the stock video clips that you have at your disposal for creating your videos. And the best part is you can go up to this search bar and literally type in anything. So in this case, my video is about basketball. So I can actually just type in the words basketball and that will get tons of professionally shot content that is stuff that honestly would take me hours to go out and create, possibly even days, and I have access to all this amazing footage and can put this directly into my video. Now, one thing to keep in mind when it comes to the stock clips, that there are a couple different sources where NVIDIA actually gets their stock clips from. So one of those sources is iStock. And so with iStock, because these are very high-end premium stock clips, you have a limited amount that you can use every single month. However, if you think you wanna use one for your video, you can absolutely add it into your video, finish editing it, but you won't actually have to decide until the actual end of your video when you go about exporting it if you want to officially make that one of your clips that you can use that month. Now, you can use up to 120 in a month's time, so that's plenty of clips, especially when you're making short form content, but I did want to make that clarification up front. Now, because we started this video off with a template, you'll notice that on the right-hand side, it just shows all the different elements that are a part of this clip. However, the thing I like is that you can go in and sort of adjust these elements, choose to get rid of things, add new things in. And the best part about this is this allows you to take this template that was created by NVIDIA and sort of customize it for yourself, even adding in your own branding. If you wanna add your own logo to this, change around the colors, you can do all of that, which makes it a more specific video for your use case and for your audience. So that way, even if other people are going on in video and they're making videos using these exact same skills, they won't have videos that look just like yours. Okay, so now that our video is done, it is time to go about exporting it. And as I mentioned earlier, during the export process is when you're gonna be able to decide if you want to actually integrate those iStock stock video clips. Now you'll notice that here, once you click on exports, you'll see you get the option for 720p and 1080. 1080 is obviously gonna get you the better quality and it's absolutely perfectly fine for social media content. I know a lot of people might think you need to export in 4K, but most of the social media platforms don't even show the videos back in full 4K. They max out at some 720, but most 1080. So we're gonna choose 1080p, and then you'll notice that right underneath it, it tells me that I have seven stock media clips used from iStock, and right underneath it, it's telling me what my monthly quota will still be after I do this export. So in this case, because I still have my 120 for the month, I'm using seven of them in this video, and so I'll have 113 going forward for the rest of the month, which as I mentioned before, is plenty. So all I have to do now is click the export button and then my video will be finished. From there comes the easy part. You're just gonna move your video from your computer over to your phone and then upload it directly to Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube Shorts. Keeping in mind that we did export these videos in nine by 16 or vertical format, so this should upload without any issues on the platforms. 
Now, here's my big secret when it comes to creating content in bulk. Once we've made our videos like we just did using these AI tools inside of NVIDIA, there's actually a tool that will allow you to duplicate that project. And then now you can make multiple variations of it. And that's the secret. You need to make multiple variations of a similar type of content. Not only is this gonna help you to make mass content in a very short period of time, but also it allows your audience to gauge who you are and know what they're coming back for. A lot of us have a favorite TV show or even a favorite creator where we know what to expect when we see their content. And that's one of the major benefits by creating in bulk is that you can create a consistent look by duplicating previous projects and making variations of those. And it just allows you to win on all fronts. If you guys have any questions about creating content or bulk, or you need some content ideas, or maybe you just have other content related questions, leave those down in the comments so that way I can work those into a future video. Shout out and thanks to all of the members of the Creative Fam Academy who helped make videos like this possible. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.